Hey my home workout buddies, it's Hayley here. We have a 35 minute full body workout today, strength and endurance based. So we'll have four minutes on the clock, 30 seconds rest. We will be using a range of dumbbells. It will all make sense very, very shortly. <laughs> Grab your dumbbells, your water bottle and your sweat towel. It's all going to be standing today. So we're gonna get started very shortly, but it is strength and endurance focused. So we're gonna get started with a squat calf raise and around the world. So get set up for that and I'll see you over there very quickly. So we're gonna get started in about 12 seconds. Grab yourself a weight that you'll be comfortable to do around the world. With you can start off heavy and always drop down. So let's get started in two, one, squat, calf raise, stand up, around the world. Now we'll add two. One, squat, two, around the world. And just keep counting. So you're gonna be deep focus today. Three, Make this your own workout. You can go opposite directions each time. <laughs> but we've got four minutes on the clock. Three, four. And just keep getting get into your zone. And I'd love to know at what number you get to for each. That'd be awesome. Drop down the weights, drop down the weights. The strength and endurance, okay? I'd rather see you drop weight and keep form than go sloppy. And once you know that's, that's progress, when you find, when you identify that your form is slipping, that is progress, okay? We will buy at different paces and that's okay. One more minute down guys, one to go. Five seconds, guys. Ten more seconds. You've got this. Great job, 30 seconds rest, shake that out. 
Our next move will be a land high row. So we'll just be using one dumbbell. So we'll squat it over one side. That's one. Put the dumbbell on the ground. Take it over to the side. One. We'll be swapping over. That will take a little bit of time. But as your ladder builds, we're going in five seconds. I'm just gonna, so you can see what we're doing. Let's go. One. Two, one, one. Now it's all over. Two, one, two. You'll find a rhythm. Again, four minutes here. Take your time, get a nice hinge or depth in your lunge and use your momentum for your high row. You're doing great. to go. When you get in your zone, it really does time fly. Sounds overwhelming, four minutes straight. But, you get into your zone. Strength and endurance, guys. Once I'm done. 
down with, and my form starts slipping with the heavier weight, I'm gonna move down. I'm gonna try and get the whole way through with just one set. Because I do wanna push myself. Strength and endurance, guys. That's what we're here for. I'm not gonna lie, I have some regrets about doing some gardening yesterday. My hands are a bit torn up from pulling out some weeds because I didn't use gloves. When they talk about self-care, that's what they really mean. <laughs> oh. 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 I think I have to drop down. Shake it out if you need to at any stage. There is no harm in doing that. Four minutes is a really long time. I've, done, I've chosen that on purpose though. Okay, and we just come straight back in. Okay. Just go straight where you were if you got to six on each side. Do seven on each side for the next time around. Lighter weights, higher reps, okay? The heavier weights just help start the burn and the fatigue to help build those muscles and that strength. <sighs> and I just need to remember what number I'm up to. <laughs> Less than two minutes left guys. That's all you. Showing up, all you. I'm just here to work out with you. Boss you around a little bit, tell you what to do. And my time is doing weird things again. <sighs> 30 seconds left. My dogs can't handle it. <laughs> Next up we have a tricep kickback and a reverse delt fly. Okay, so we're gonna go in 10 seconds. Just crack my back a little bit out. Now you might wanna start off with a heavy weight and we'll go down. So tricep kickbacks, let's go. One, one, one. Gonna build it up from there. <sighs> Ideally, you've started off with a challenging weight and then you can drop down.
really engage, push with your pinky on your triceps as well. Lean it up towards the ceiling, engage your triceps at the top, make the connection and release. You're doing great. Strength and joints, that's why we're here guys. One more minute. Last one. Great job, rest up. Ooh. Shake that out, you've done awesome. I personally empowered myself because I didn't drop down in weights. I thought I was going to, but I didn't, so I surprised myself, genuinely. <laughs> Next up we have a chest crossover, so same sort of weight, and we're gonna be crossing it over our chest, and we'll be doing shoulder raises. Okay, so we're going five. Two, one, let's go. So one, one, shoulder raise. One, two, one, one, two, two. Now you can go two, two, or two on sort sides, your type of style. I'll leave you to it. <laughs> strength and endurance workout, full body. And next two will be leg dominant. This is your last arm based one, okay? So all out on these two weeks is what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, my time has been really funny today. Keep going.
under a minute and a half left, guys. You don't waste that, you're doing great. Almost there. Keep going. I'm actually really enjoying this one. <laughs> Pull three. Pull it three. Five. Two. One, great job, shake it off, shake it out. All right, now the next one we have single legs remaining in deadlift, so single weight. If you'd like to, I'm just going to be lowering it down for one, swapping over one, ladder style again, okay? We go in nine seconds, oh, shake it out, do a twist, whatever you need to do. I'm going to start off with the seven kilo weight. Um, let's get going. your balance a lot just use your back leg as more of a like a guide so you don't fall over and just go from there it's totally fine modifications are there for a reason so use them if you need to take your time we have a lot of time here your balance like me just come straight back in grab a drink it's okay no need to get frustrated look at it. it's a challenge or something you're getting better at I'm trying to get better at these particularly at balance probably why we've had them in our few workouts lately Let me know in the comment section if there's any particular moves that you're wanting to work on that I can incorporate into these workouts for you as well. Don't mind 
journey. Just go straight into it. Thirty seconds left. You're doing great. Just a reverse lunge. <sighs> get started to see it shortly. So we just have a reverse lunge remaining. <sighs> so we're just gonna go one, one, and so on. All right, we go, let's rock and roll straight into it. Four minutes. Maybe I'll add a weight, you can. Find your zone, go there. Last one, by the way, guys. If you need to shake it out, shake it out. So you probably can't really see what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna, you keep going. I didn't say stop. <laughs> there we go. If you wanted to alternate the whole time, you can. I just find having some isolation on, or doing some unilateral work really helps me out. Get some time under tension under one leg. Really helps that strength and endurance. If you wanted to add a weight, you're welcome to add a weight to your back or hold one out front. I'm gonna use my arms for balance. <laughs> Love to know which one was your favorite or you found most challenging. <laughs> you let me know in the comment section, that'd be great. <sighs> Almost two minutes go to go, guys. Oh, shake it out if you need to, and just come straight back into it. Grab a drink. Two minute work periods are quite long. Come back into it. Let's go. That's the other leg. You go. It's my golden retriever. He loves less time when there's a bed in the backyard. Alrighty guys, we're in our last minute. I'm gonna chuck a weight on my back. I would love for you to up your ante in some way as well. Last minute. You've got this. Probably try and face the timer so I can let you know when you're finishing. <laughs> Just get in my own zone, as I'm sure you do too. <sighs> Very close, guys. 20 seconds left. <sighs> this has been great. You can see I'm smiling. <laughs> oh, 
I'm feeling the burn in my quads right now. I know we've had a good workout. Full body. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah! Amazing work, everyone. Oh, love it for you to come down to mat. I think we need a bit of a stretch. Open up our arms. Give a little twist. Oh, I'm so proud of you for showing up. It's been a great workout. I'm feeling stronger, our endurance. I'm really hopefully, hopefully you've improved. Hopefully you feel, you've surprised yourself as well with the in time. It's four minutes mentally when you first accept it because normally we're doing 40 seconds, 30 seconds of work, not four minutes. So four minutes on the clock, 30 seconds rest was quite tolling for you. I specifically chose different targeted muscle groups for each move. Just doing some different hip moves here. <laughs> Don't mind me. Oh, if you want to join me for a cool down, you are welcome to. Just a minute or so. I know everyone's got busy lives. Oh, if you're enjoying these workouts, please oh, press the subscribe button, like and share with a friend that you think would like this workout as well. We all have workout buddies. I am your workout buddy. I'm here for you. Taking that mental load, go into a pipe position. Pedal out those calves. From our squat calf raises at the very start. Push your head through. a bit of a twist in there, rotation. On Wednesday we have a upper body power pulse workout which I think you will enjoy. We'll be using most likely lighter weights. In child's pose, just hang out here, reach, reach, reach through the fingers. to cool down anything else by all means hang out here for a little bit longer <sighs> time three I'm gonna work on my forearms I've been holding dumbbells quite a bit I'm certainly feeling feeling that a little bit <laughs> oh. thank you for cooling down with me by all means Hugo is getting impatient my dog I will see you all on Wednesday. Do something else to support your nutritional goals. Eat some protein, have a nice drink of water, stay hydrated, go for a nice walk, rest, cool down, but baby steps. Everything that you're trying to incorporate and change into your life is, it's very difficult at this stage, well, the stage I'm in life, it's very difficult to do a full 180 overhaul. It is at the stage of baby steps and mastering each one of those new habits before topping on. Progressive overload in every aspect of my life. Have a go, one step, okay, mastering, next step, what's next, okay? And then you are able to maintain those habits and really instill a healthy, balanced lifestyle without overwhelming yourself as well. So once you get those little healthy habits really going on, build on them, build on them, build on them. And that is it, that's all it is to it. <laughs> doesn't happen overnight, don't expect it to happen overnight, room wasn't built in a day, your body, your mind, it's a journey, it sounds very cliche, but it's very true, it's a journey and you're all on it every single day, so if you fall off on a day, just bring it back in, it's okay, life is like that, the life throws all sorts of surprises at you, but if you ingrain some really great healthy habits and you know that you have an internal trigger that will be like, well, okay, that's too much or I just can't handle this right now but I know I'll come back to it tomorrow. It's okay, life happens, okay? Small steps every single day, little improvements, little swaps of nutrition or exercise or walking like a little bit extra distance or the five minute extra run around with your kids or your dogs, it all builds up over time. 
to really help your health and mental health as well. So hopefully you can go have a wonderful day. You had a little pep talk from me and I will see you all on Wednesday for our upper body power pulse, which I'm very excited for because that's a really great burn. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon.